buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Wicked, look at that backdrop. That's Dean over there, way over the back. I'm up here uh, looking for a fish for him. Saw one, but I think it saw Dean and he's gone. So, thought I'd do the intro. New river for me. We had a great day yesterday. I'll link that up here. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was very cool. We've got another great weather day today. Then we've got like two days of just getting hammered with rain. So we're making a most of today. We'll come out with fish. Then probably just hunker down for a couple of days and I'll probably edit. But great weather. Should be able to find a fish. Maybe even catch it. Who knows? I like uh, saw him up high a couple of times, eh? Man, this is a mess. Jesus. Moving out. Oh, he's ate something, I think. It's in a good place right there. Weird drift. Yeah, real close in now. Oh, drag. Don't move. That was a drag issue, eh? All right, you looked, you didn't eat it. Beautiful markings. Yeah, and that sunlight. Real green back. Really cool. <sighs> nah, that's just a solid, solid fish. Nice. <laughs> that is a fatty. Cheers, brother. Good work, Good work man. That's a cool fish. Wow, man, look at that condition. Such a nice fish. Oof. Cool fish, I'm stoked about that. What did you say it was like just over five, eh? Yeah. So it's actually like it was a little football because it was quite short, but then just solid and fat and thick across the back there. And yeah, so we tried the cicada, he came and looked at it but didn't want to eat it, so we changed over to just a tiny, slightly weighted nymph and uh, yeah, led him quite a bit and then he just kind of cruised over to the right. And I was sitting there kind of half asking myself whether or not I should tighten, and Dean was like, just lift, and I lifted and he was there and Perfectly hooked. It was a cool fish. Really, really pretty. Stoked about that. Coming over. No. And nips him.
know what time it is, people. It's power cookie time. Yeah. Chocolate cranberry craze. Uh, Dean's stuck on the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Dean's having some technical issues. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to tie a knot. So I just thought I'd tell you what I'm using today. So I'm using Larry, which is the Helios 3 6 weight F. If you watch these videos, you'll have seen this rod heaps. It's amazing and I love it. It's such a good rod. You should buy one. And the 5 weight is really good, which is actually what Dean's using today. He's got a 5 weight version of this rod. They're both amazing. Really, really good rods. On here, I've got the Mirage LT size 2 reel and a dark olive from Orvis. As usual, on here we've got the Scientific Anglers Amplitude Infinity Smooth line in a six weight. Maybe the best all-round trap line out there. And then on the end of that, I've got a tree. So on the end of that, I've got a seven foot floating poly leader down to a tippet ring. On there, I've got about eight feet of 3X and about four feet of 4X down to a single, what have I got on here from before? Just what I caught that first fish on, which is a single size 16, slightly weighted great thing. The tippet is the this stuff here. The Scientific Angler's absolute supreme fluorocarbon. It's basically all I use. Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Um, the only other thing I guess worth mentioning is uh, here where I've joined the 3X to the 4X. I've left a long tag end on one of the tag ends and that's where I chuck my split shot if I need to add some weight so I don't damage my main line because we all know cost me some fish before. Dean's basically using some kind of variation of the same kind of gig. Basically once Dean's sorted out we've got a fish up here we're going to have a go at and see if we can catch it. Get Dean on the board and christen his new rod. seen many fish to be honest we've seen a couple of smaller fish Dean's fish the one right now but even even that fish that like it should be pretty easy to catch now he's just he's just lobbing stuff at his head now <laughs> they're just they're just not they're not very they're not eating they're not feeding they're not they're not active <laughs> um and then just like even the really good stable pieces of water which you know you'd normally expect to see a couple of fish in this isn't nothing they're not out just one of those days I think people just tough tough day if we can eke out one more fish today I think will be a real win huh me no I don't want to have a go oh, I'm quite comfortable <laughs> okay Dean let me have a go at this fish uh, so I put a nymph on a little bit of split shot I'm now kneeling on a rock in the middle of the river be tricky. Yeah. I think I need to be heavier. It's pretty, pretty deep up there. I don't think I'm. 
getting anywhere near him. So I'm going to add more weight. And it's a bit of a crap drift too. So I anchor my flies a little bit better. Hopefully give me a bit of a better drift. It's right down deep. And it's not a shallow piece of water to be honest. I changed that fly. Pretty sure he tried to eat that. Okay, I put a tiny size 16 rag fly on. For my buddy Dave, he tied me these. So I just definitely moved and had a look, tried to eat that last fly. So I changed the fly. Too far left. I'm gonna put more weight on. Yeah, I just don't, I don't feel like it's getting down. All right, adding a third piece of split shot. It's not bad. They're getting down now though. I don't reckon he's seen it yet. I'm not getting a true drift either. It's kind of going one way or the other. It's all swirly. Give him a rest, change the fly. Soft tackle, NZ fishing flies. I just called a trigger point. Nice. That soft tackle was a good fly, man. That soft tackle again. He didn't really move either, did he? Oh, oh sticky. Don't go down. Shit. Oh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to negotiate everything here. Stay there, Sticky. <laughs> All right, what's the best? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't really want to be in this kind of water. No, I'm thinking maybe like we can get over in the... That is a good fish. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna try and bring him in here. I'll try and bring him in behind this rock thing. Like this. Oof. Yeah, I'll try and do that similar kind of maneuver. Okay, I'll try, try and do a similar thing. Yeah, boy! Woohoo! Nice one, brother. <laughs> mean. No, it's a different, different, different fish. Oh, cool. Oh, big, long fish. He would have been a double one to me. Yep, yep. Chill, chill, chill.
So that was super cool, yeah. Um, really, really long fish. Cool, massive, obscene sized adipose fin. Look at that adipose fin. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Uh, and just like, yeah, just a really long fish. It was massive, actually. It was a very big fish in his day. And then just from where he was sitting, I had to add like four pieces of spit shot eventually to get the fly down so he'd even seen it. And then uh, get the right drift, he just lifted slightly, so I drew back, and then he was there. And then we got pulled right the way down into this kind of fast water here. He's just chilling in front of this rock here, recovering. Uh, and then, yeah, Dean was good enough with the net to, to get the job done. So, super stoked, super stoked. What a beautiful river. Tough day, but just a stunning river. I love it. Good stuff. I'm not gonna scoop. No, 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 no. I, I want to come back around and backhand him. Are you trying to turn him in towards me? Yep. Dude, there's a great fish on the dry. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that's stunning, man. What a cool fish, that was just, uh, that whole thing was awesome. When that fish came out of the water and ate that dry fly, that was just awesome. And then, uh, yeah, really good work by Dean over there because the fish just kept swimming towards him. So he just waited and waited and waited and then had to do something about, about a strike. What a great fish. Did you weigh it? Hey? Did you weigh it? Yeah, no, so it's like here. Eight. Yeah, great fish. Yeah, then we had a bit of a battle down through here through the rapids, but it all worked out well and uh, Day made. That's as good as it gets. Good job. It's baking hot. It's so hot. We had to work hard for those fish. It's three o'clock. Yeah, three o'clock. And uh, we've only just got those last two fish, so it's been a tough day, but worth it. Totally worth it. I forgot to say that was the fish he christened his new rod on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice work. Uh, okay, cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the button, join the team help we grow the channel. We have probably got two or three days of downtime now, big rainstorm coming in, it's probably gonna mess things up for us for a few days, but we'll get some editing done and then hatch a plan and wherever we end up, we will catch up with you then. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.